Hey, what's going on guys? Keener here and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today is another mod demonstration. And we'll call it a demonstration. And today we have a few, a few mods and we'll start with this. This is the ME, an ME system, a basic ME system. I mean, it's got some 1K storage. It'll store anything, right? I'm sure if you guys are looking up how to use this, you already know what it is. So I'll get right to it. how to power this for, I don't know about infinitely, but quite a while. So, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a nether portal. So we will do that. Oops. I'm used to a different keybind, my apologies. And, believe it or not, first thing we're going to do is actually go to the nether. Now this works on most mod packs that have um, the following mods. You need ender storage, ender chunks, you need build craft, most likely, not always. Obviously, you need applied energistics in order to use an to make an ME system. But yeah, this is a, a well, this is a custom mod pack that I have created for my friends and I to use personally. So not available, but you guys know where the downloads are. So first, we'll just go down here to the lava, as I'm sure some of you have guessed. And we're just going to build out. We're going to make a little mini platform. say a little bit bigger than this. Okay. And this is fairly simple, just um how am I gonna do this? I'll just place this here. This it doesn't matter as long as you get this to this position take redstone engines, if you have them, uh, or anything that produces energy to provide your pump, which in this case is buildcraft, but not always buildcraft. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to put some fluid pipes and then into this ender tank from ender storage, which apparently causes a bit of a lighting glitch when you look at it. Uh, you can set these to different frequencies by applying dye to the little parts right there. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to power these engines. I'm actually going to apply a fourth one there. And then if you look underneath, it's applying the drainage pipe. That will eventually suck up a lot of no, These are going to go really slow at first, but we'll find out eventually that they actually do get moving. Um, one of the things I would do is I would honestly, uh, I'd place a chunk loader for chicken chunks on top set it to a radius of 3 minimum. Uh, you can do show lasers and uh, you can like get out of the menu. As long as you can see that it covers completely this small little contraption here, you're good. But as you can see, it is starting to fill up with lava, which is what we need. So I will go back to the overworld and better explain how this actually works. While I'm going back, that machine that we just created will constantly pump lava into an ender tank, which you can see in my hand is filling up as we go. Uh, we'll just stick it right there, I think is good. As you can see, that also lit up the area. Uh, I'm going to actually try and set zero. Um, basically what you want to do, is you're going to want to do this. You want a wooden fluid pipe, not necessarily there. I usually put it there because it seems like it needs to pump out. Uh, you need a redstone engine. I'm gonna go across over here. You don't have to do it exactly this way. This is just the basics on how it works. Uh, not there. You're going to take, I'm gonna get rid of this and pull out the next two items. This is a magmatic dynamo from thermal expansion. It requires hot fluids or, or magma. I'm just gonna stick two down. I'm gonna break these. Place down the energy conduits, which is what you use in order to power this, and then stick these down. Sorry, that way it points into these. Make sure that this is connected. You can do, um, disconnect it if you want to by using a buildcraft wrench or any other wrench. Um, this pretty much is already your infinite power source. All you gotta do here is enable that. 
that will eventually start pumping lava. As you can see, it slowly goes through the pipes into the mycotic dynamos, hopefully. There we go. As you can see, our ME system is powered. Um, it is gaining power because it isn't storing anything, but yeah, this is pretty much a near infinite power source for your ME system. Obviously, the more you try to store, the more you're going to, of these magmatic dynamos you're going to need because they do only generate so much power, and this will use a lot of power the more stuff you have using it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this little mod demonstration. Um, the only thing I can think of is one of the other applications you could use is to use a quarry. So you could just, you know, make a quarry. Okay. Um, I'm just going to scroll to here, grab a quick pipe. This is one other thing that I kind of wanted to demonstrate anyway into a chest. I did not mean to delete that, whatever. Uh, you'll want to put that into a chest. You're going to want a HDMI cable. Um, you're going to want a basic import, usually. Usually this is still going to suffice. Just shift click onto that surface and that should connect perfectly. Then you can go set up your little engine. Thanks, did not want that. Um, you can set up your little engine dealio. Um, we'll grab a magmatic dynamo once again. Um, and we'll also grab some energy conduits. Set this over here. Set down your magmatic dynamos. You should fill with lava and your recorder should build. Um, just kind of want to warn you guys if you don't have enough of these uh, import buses, what will end up happening is your chest will overflow and there will be cobblestone or ore or whatever's in there. It'll just explode all over the place and that is not good. So. As you can see, it's almost already, it's almost finished. Uh, looks like there's a little bit of a <laughs> glitch right there. There's this build of, build craft. And there we go, it fixed itself. So it looks like it's almost done and we'll start coring shortly. Um, I'm actually going to grab a golden pipe. go very slowly until it hits that gold pipe but um, I'm sure you understand how buildcraft works it'll pump into here the last thing I'm waiting to show you is basically I'll just do this uh, you can just pump this in and it'll it'll pull it out and I can go in here and I can see it all in here um, yeah so that's pretty much it. If you like the commentary and you're the channel, make sure you hit that like button also subscribe for more content. Um, anyways, that's it. So I'll talk to you guys next time.